What if I told you Toyota just did something no other car company has managed to pull off? They have introduced a new aluminum ion battery that can go up to 1,000 miles on a single charge and recharge fully in just 5 minutes. That means, you know, no range anxiety, no long charging times and no waiting around. At a surprise event in Tokyo, Toyota revealed the battery and it caught the entire EV industry off guard, even executives from Tesla, GM and BYD were stunned. This is not a small improvement, it could completely change how electric vehicles are made. The battery is fireproof, lighter, non-toxic and does not use rare materials like lithium or cobalt. Before we dive into what this means for Tesla, for gas cars, and even for the energy industry, make sure to like and subscribe. This is not just about cars, it is the start of a major shift in global energy. For years, people believed lithium batteries were the future and solid state was the big goal, but Toyota just changed the conversation with a quick presentation that left everyone shocked. A 1,000 mile range, a 5 minute charge, no lithium, and no cobalt. At first many thought it was not real but Toyota showed a working aluminum ion prototype verified by independent tests. It can charge at 1,200 kilowatts, last over 10,000 cycles, and handle extreme temperatures without catching fire. This is not a small upgrade over Tesla's 4,680 cells, it is much faster, lighter, safer, and easier to produce. There is no dangerous mining, no supply chain drama, and no fire risks. It simply works cleaner, safer, and is more scalable than anything we have seen before. And the material behind it, aluminum, is not rare, not toxic, and not buried under monopolized territories. Aluminum is the third most abundant element on Earth, and it is already mined, traded, and recycled globally. Toyota did not just improve EV batteries, they detonated the entire supply chain map. Here is the shocker. The charge capacity is not a theoretical dream. It has been field-tested, lab-tested, and fast-tracked for mass production by late 2026. Toyota's internal roadmap now includes aluminum ion in at least eight vehicle platforms, and new patents suggest it may even scale to home energy and aviation. So what makes this chemistry so different? Unlike lithium where each ion carries a single charge, aluminum ions carry three electrons per ion, that is three times the electrical payload in the same space. Combined with a graphene-based cathode, these ions move at breakneck speed with minimal resistance. There is no overheating, no runaway reaction, and no need for cooling systems or massive buffer zones. And while lithium batteries degrade under stress, heat, fast charging, or deep discharge, aluminum ion cells do not care. Toyota's prototypes were frozen, then superheated, crushed, punctured, and short-circuited. Nothing exploded, nothing vented gas, not even a spark. That kind of stability is not just safer, it is disruptive. You can mount these batteries under seats, inside doors, anywhere in the frame. There is no fear of fire for regulators, insurers, and fleet operators. That changes everything. But here is the twist. While the public marveled at the specs, insiders panicked over what was not said. Toyota did not mention lithium, not once. There was no comparison, no backward compatibility, just a cold, silent message to every automaker still betting on lithium-ion. You are now behind. Tesla, BYD, GM, and others were all caught off guard. Supply contracts, mining deals, and billion-dollar gigafactories are suddenly at risk because this new battery does not use the same playbook. It does not need lithium extraction from South America. It does not require cobalt from Congo. It does not care about geopolitics and the range. This was not marketing math. Toyota's prototype sedan completed 1,000 miles on a closed track using a single charge while carrying the equivalent payload of a Camry. There was no hypermiling, no stripped-down test car, just real-world driving, a real load and real speed. The implications are staggering. If mass-produced at scale, this would make current EVs obsolete in both cost and performance. Charging infrastructure would shrink, there would be no more waiting 30 minutes, highway rest stops would become 5-minute pit stops just like gas. But, it is not just the speed, it is the chemistry itself. Aluminum is fireproof, non-toxic, recyclable at 96% efficiency, and, most importantly, it does not rely on scarce minerals hoarded by a handful of suppliers. That is where lithium begins to crumble. For two decades, it was not just the backbone of clean energy. It was a monopoly controlled by a tight cartel of miners, processors, and middlemen from Chile to China. But now that grip is slipping. Between 2020 and 2023, 
lithium prices did not just rise, they exploded. EV production emissions dropped by over 40%. Suddenly the argument that EVs were just coal-powered cars collapses. In life cycle analysis, aluminum ion beats lithium, fuel cells, and even some hybrids across the board. For governments pushing for carbon neutrality, Toyota did not just offer a car, they offered a shortcut. And yet, this battery was never meant to stop at cars. Toyota had bigger plans hidden within patent filings. Quiet mentions of aluminum ion scalability began to emerge, not just for vehicles, but for the grid. Stationary energy storage has long been the Achilles heel of solar and wind. Lithium packs are expensive, volatile, and degrade quickly under constant cycling. But aluminum ion thrives under load. It does not mind deep discharges. It can sit dormant for months or pump power for years. Toyota's engineers revealed a modular energy unit, a shoebox-sized battery that could power an entire home during outages. It is stackable, safe, silent, and fully recyclable for off-grid living and renewable farms. It was a game-changer. Entire microgrids could run off aluminum with zero emissions and zero risk. And the fuse was not just burning, it was igniting a chain reaction that would redefine the very landscape of power and mobility. For decades the electric vehicle race had been a linear sprint on a single well-defined track increase energy density, reduce charging time, and lower the cost of lithium-ion cells. Every major player from Tesla with its relentless vertical integration to China's BYD with its blade battery was playing by the same fundamental rules competing for a marginally better position within a predetermined framework. Toyota, however, did not join a race already in progress. It changed the venue entirely by presenting a battery chemistry that obviated the core dilemmas of the lithium-ion era, safety, scarcity, speed, and longevity in one comprehensive package. Toyota had not merely unveiled a new product, it had effectively invalidated the trillion-dollar roadmap every other competitor was following. And the ripple effects had not stopped. Patent offices in Europe, the US and Asia reported record filings related to aluminum-ion chemistry, many with Toyota's name at the top. Universities were flooded with grant money, startups pivoted overnight, governments rewrote policy memos. This was not a ripple, it was a rift. Inside boardrooms from Detroit to Munich, a single question now echoed, is it too late to catch up? Because Toyota was not slowing down. They had already mapped their next move in aluminum-ion integration into industrial transport, marine shipping, and even robotics. Their vehicles would soon power homes, their energy systems would soon stabilize grids, and their battery, that silent, unburnable slab, had become the single most valuable object in the entire auto industry. Elon Musk's team, despite the noise, had not cracked it. Chinese giants scrambled for alternatives, and the lithium lobby, once the gatekeepers of the EV, saw their walls begin to crumble. The next chapter of the energy race was not going to be about lithium anymore, or cobalt, or oil. It would be about who controls aluminum ion and who gets left behind. Because the old world ran on combustion, the new one will run on something else entirely. And Toyota just lit the fuse.